Good morning, good morning. I have some uh, pretty cool stuff I wanna show you guys this morning. I'm gonna make breakfast, and for breakfast, I usually have some oatmeal. So right now, I'm gonna show you guys a unique way that you can make oatmeal. So, I'm turning oatmeal into pancakes because a lot of people don't know this, but oatmeal, if you blend it, turns into a flour. One cup. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix in two scoops of whey protein. It's just our own brand. You can find it on our website, bomarfitness.com, vanilla flavored. And I'll add in a little bit of almond milk. Cream powder and oats. We need to turn it into a batter for pancakes. Okay, so everyone always asks what fiber we use. Here it is. There is also a link in the comment section below if you are interested. Coconut oil. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, you make really big pancakes. That's right. Are you just gonna make one big one? Um, I would. Christmas sprinkles. Get it, get it, get it. Bam! That right there is protein pancake. We'll tear this up so you can see the texture of it. Yum. Yeah. Not as many carbs in this one. Um, a lot of these recipes, way cooler than what I just made, um, on, is on Sarah. Bomar's blog. It's called sarahbomar.blogspot.com. Is it pretty? Oh, you're so smart. So I made cold protein oats. It tastes like cold cereal, and it's. and it's amazing, you can vouch. It is, and I made this. There's nothing there, because I ate it already. How many calories was it, you figured it out? Um, yeah, so there's actually a lot left in the cup um, that I used to mix it, so I took off about 50 calories, so it's right around 900 calories. And I know a lot of your people's brains are going to explode, but you have to understand, I put a lot of my fat, a lot of my carbs into one meal. Whenever you get your numbers and your macros, you know, Sarah and I do this all the time. You, you don't necessarily, ideally it's best, you know, to, to put it into five or six different meals, but you don't have to. So for me, what I'm gonna do, I wanted a really big breakfast, that way I was gonna be held over for the most, for most of the day, but now after my workout, I'm just gonna drink straight protein. I'm not gonna have any carbs or fat. And then two hours after that, I'm also gonna have straight protein with only, with no carbs or fat. So as you can see, it's not like I'm having six or seven meals, you know, where I'm having 900 calories at, at a pop. Our winter wonderland is finally complete. Now we just need it to smell. So I've already eaten two slices. It's just chicken breast. If you look at the macros on here, only half a gram of fat and only two carbs, 11 grams of protein. So I'm eating four of these, which is gonna give me 22 grams of protein. I need to get 50 grams of protein. So I'll do a shake after this.
Oh. All right, there you go. Yeah, put it on the ground. Ruin my gains. So instead of doing a shake, I'm gonna do two packets of this. Now we are going to the gym. We have a few errands to run and then we're going to the gym. We are both lifting back today and then we'll do some cardio and then just come back here and work because we have a ton of stuff to do. We might actually go to Starbucks to work, I'm not sure yet, but we have a lot of stuff to do for our upcoming trade shows and um, Bailey and different trips. So we have to plan and get all of that logistically planned. So that's what we will be doing the rest of the day after our workouts and our errands and more food and more food and more food. So when we get home, right now I have a few pounds of ground venison thawing. So when we get home after the gym, do some of this, and then we will also do we'll also do some cauliflower. So we're gonna do like buffalo cauliflower. It's gonna be really, really good. Super simple recipe that's delicious. It's all about tricking your body as far as dieting and stuff. So dieting doesn't have to suck. There's a few like diet hacks that you'll learn along the way, and we're gonna share those with you guys. So <laughs> So sometimes errands take longer than anticipated, so that's all right. So if you are educated, which we're going to teach you on how to eat out at restaurants and still track your macros, that way you won't fall off the wagon. So don't fret. Obviously, being prepared is most ideal, but sometimes life is never perfect. We'll teach you how to track what you're eating. You can even pre-plan ahead. Um, with my fitness pal or calorie king or whatever app you're using because a lot of restaurants have their nutritional info online So if you say okay, this many calories that I want a lot, this is what I can get and then just follow that according so. Because I'm not Josh. I don't get to eat 4,000 calories today <laughs> Babe just gain 80 pounds of muscle and you'll be able to all right, so I got a spinach salad with chicken zucchini olives sun-dried tomatoes cucumbers and onions. And then I got the apple cider vinaigrette on the side. What'd you get? I got pretty much the same thing. I got um, a few of these like sweet peppers, but I got, also got double chicken. So, I'll show you guys now how we're gonna log it. So before we came, I looked up the nutritional facts for everything that we kind of have know what you're getting yourself into. And then I looked up their serving sizes earlier. That way I just can add it myself. I don't have to do like piata, spinach, or whatever. So I also wanted to point out, as I barely used any, I didn't log the dressing because I used like one hundredth of it. So. Yeah, me too. I didn't really use any of my dressing either. Yeah. Again, a dab with your fork here and there and you're good.
Summer died like halfway through our back workout, which sucked. But, so we just got home, we lifted back, we did cardio, and we went to the store earlier, and we got this cool, like, deep fryer thing that we saw in an infomercial like a month ago. Like, we were those, were those people. That, yeah, apparently it fries with air and not with oil. So we're gonna test, it sounds like a dieter's dream, I don't know. It sounds pretty we cool. We got the so. XL, and don't worry, we got four for free, because we bought one. That's not true. I'm just kidding, we yeah. didn't get one for free. <laughs> yeah, but. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna make ground venison and I'm going to attempt to make buffalo cauliflower on this new contraption that we just bought. So we'll see if it works out. Um, I'm, like, I'm like seriously low key geeking out about this yeah, thing. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. And then we just have a bunch of work to do. So we have a lot of trips to finalize, like I said earlier, like the hotels and flights and stuff. And we just got confirmation on our group workout for um, Indianapolis when we come in the middle of January, so look out for details there because it will be an RSVP first come first serve sign up sheet, just like our Arnold workout was a few months ago. And yeah, good stuff. So you'll see us cooking. Um, I still have to show you guys how to edit on my fitness pal, so I will do that and it should be fun. So our back workout today was what? It was, you did 50, Hold that or pull ups. 50 pull ups. And I'm not strong enough to do that. So I did like 28 static holds on the pull up machine. And then we did 60 lat pull downs. Josh did wide ones. I did the narrow grip. And then we did Australian body curls on the parallel bars. For some reason, the LA that we go to has like a gymnastic section. So if you don't have the parallel bars, you could do on the TRX. I've showed Put your several. Feet on a bench. Yeah. You know, do a normal barbell like squat rack. Yeah. So I've showed several. I've shown several variations on how to do those. They're very challenging. So definitely incorporate those into your workouts. And then we did three sets of ten. Josh did like twenty, and then ten. I did three sets of ten on bent over barbell rows. And then we did our forty-five minutes of cardio on the stairmaster a little sauna action, and now we're back here. So it's been a good day. Okay, so the concept of this thing is kind of like an oven, but you spray like spray oil on it, and then it uses air to deep fry it without any actual oil. I don't know, we're gonna find out. We're just... <sighs> Already sprayed the first layer. All right, so this is now done. That's actually really good. Well, I'm gonna have some of this, and then some of that, which is just deer. And then we'll use some hot sauce. Sweetie, are you helping me? All right, friends, so if you live in or near or around Indy, we are doing a group workout. It will be on January 11th, and we can only accept 50 people, and we already have 26 people signed up, so the link will be below. If you're interested, it's, there's a $10 gym fee. I'll show you guys the location as well. You should come, it's gonna be totally fun, isn't it? Yeah, it will be. Group workout. So there is the location. Like I said, $10 gym fee. It will be at 7 in the morning on January 11th at 20, 2017. Ooh, it's already almost 2017. That's pretty nuts. Jerry, I'm going to be so old this year. Tonight I am making protein ice cream. You can do ice and then you can add almond milk or water. And then one scoop of vanilla protein. You can do chocolate. I like the vanilla. That way I can add different spices to it. Little little trick. Do the ice first, that way it actually falls. If you do the protein powder first, it'll stick down there. Goop. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I promised you guys yesterday that I would show you how to edit your own macros on my fitness pal. So I've mentioned before, we aren't the biggest fans of the percentages that are used in default on MyFitnessPal. So if you were just to enter your stats and your goals in this, it would obviously generate something. Our meal plan uses a different, more effective 
um, equation to determine your BMR, your TDE, and your percentages. So if you use ours or if you want to just do your own percentages, that's totally fine. So if you use my fitness pal, just click more and then go to goals and click on calorie and macronutrient goal. And mine's default to, or I've already set mine up, but this way you guys can see. So you set your calories first. If your calories aren't you need to edit your calories first because if your calories aren't right, the percentages are going to be based off your calories. So let's just say I was at, you know, 1800, which would be super cool. Then my percentages would obviously stay the same, but my numbers would be different. So if I was at 1800, these would be my numbers with the percentages that I have set. I think my fitness pal defaults to like 40, 40, and 30. No. So I think my fitness pal defaults to like 30, 40, and 30. I'm not quite sure. I don't remember, but this, this way you can look and see so it obviously changes. And then you can't save it if you're under 100%. So you can go through and do all that. I'm going to change my calories back to what they actually are so that I don't get excited. 16. Okay. And then if you go back in here, it actually reflects the numbers that you guys saw yesterday on my meal plan. So that's the way to do that. This also will help you if you want to carb cycle. So with carb cycling, you always want to keep your protein at the same percentage, but then you can edit your, say you're having a high carb day, instead of having 30% carbs and 35% fat, you could change that and get all of your carbs and then take this down. That way you're doing your high carb day you're at 208 grams of carbs and then only 20 grams to 19 grams of fat and then vice versa. So on your um, high fat days and low carb days, you would just reverse those percentages or whatever. These I'm just giving you guys percentages like that way you can just mess with it. But just showing you an example of how you could edit it if you want to carb cycle as well. But always keep your protein the same. Your calories stay the same. It's just the macros that make up your calories will change. So hope that helps. Best Network.